Good afternoon, all of you. Thank you, Dr. Atkinson. Um, our CMA leadership team, who are spread through the room, are very honored to be here. And for me, I'm honored to be uh, talking with you and representing them in this very, very important discussion. It is an exciting day. The stars are indeed aligned. Thank you, Dr. Zhao, for all that you and Duke University Health Systems continue to do for City of Medicine Academy. Also, Bob Gretchen and Lieutenant Governor Dalton, the illustrious speakers who've gone before have spoken very powerfully, persuasively about this initiative. Um, CMA is, um, is going to be the future that we want for all of our children. It um, spoke very powerfully to me. I have two sons, and when I think about what the opportunities they've had, they were born here, they have taken advantage of North Carolina's public school system, and I want that to be true for all students, all children in North Carolina. I believe that very, very passionately. I have lived here for nearly um, 30 years. The Duke Health System, led by Dr. Zhao, Durham Public Schools, and the people of the city of Durham have already involved, been involved in a significant partnership to provide the land. We've talked about this. And as we speak, the bulldozers are working, and the groundbreaking that took place only three or four short weeks ago, where we, um, we celebrated what in 11 months, four days and two hours, this new building will open next summer 2011. We're very excited about this, and it is right on Durham Regional's um, campus, close to um, some of the facilities that, as you say, Dr. Zhao, we use, our students use. Let me tell you a little bit about CMA. The CMA faculty is a highly skilled, able group of professionals, the majority of whom have completed or are completing national boards, graduate degrees, or continuing professional development via sustained workshops in their fields of teaching. Our new school's instructional coach is well integrated into the faculty, works both individually and with teams to ensure best instructional practices occur on a daily basis at CMA. The culture of excellence, and that is a word that's been used this morning, the culture of excellence permeates our faculty, our students, our community. And our motto has become excellence plus healthcare plus service equals CMA. It's in our DNA. In two short years as a small, independent high school, CMA has become a school of distinction, and every adult in the building is committed every day to challenging and supporting each and every student to achieving at the individual's highest level. Our faculty knows every student. No one is invisible, as many of our students say, Ms. Shearer, can't do nothing in this building. <laughs> High expectations and accountability are everyday happenings. We live that every single day. We also would like to thank Bill Ingram and the Durham uh, Technical College because that is the partnership that we are growing. We have students who go to Durham Tech, who take classes, courses, and so do have college credit um, before they graduate from high school. And we wish to expand that so that, as a speaker said earlier, we will have students who have high school graduation requirements met and have gone on to complete possibly associate degrees. We're here today to support the statewide network of health and sciences, health and life sciences STEM schools. CMA is proud to serve as the proposed anchor school for this network. We're honored to partner with the State Board of Education, the Department of Public Instruction, and New Schools Project. We're also grateful to Dr. Eric B. Coates and the Durham Board of Education for their sustained support. This initiative has the potential, I believe, we believe, to radically change the way our high school, our sister high schools, and perhaps high schools across this and other states work. We know some of the dire statistics that have been alluded to. We know that many employers are concerned about the young people they want and need to hire versus the skill sets of many in the current pool of applicants. With this partnership and your support, 
CMA will have the necessary time, resources, and expertise to radically change the high school experience. We will be committed to ensuring that students develop the critical and necessary skills to, as Dr. Atkinson speaks of, this third way. When I first came across her paper at the Summer Institute, I was very, very um, moved by it, have thought a lot about it. We've talked a lot at our faculty about how we do courses differently, how we do learning differently, so that our students will have the skills to apply engineering, math, scientific knowledge to confronting and creating model solutions for the significant challenges that face our world within a collaborative team approach. I can envisage within an integrated course of health occupation, a CT, a traditional CTE uh, course, an anatomy and physiology, a science course, a team of teachers working with student teams to explore the critical aspects of a crippling disease and develop models of potential cures. Students who graduate from CMA and sister schools will have the skill sets to work collaboratively, inquire persistently, and engage successfully in confronting some of the most urgent health, medical, and societal issues we face. Our students are our future. At CMA, we're committed to ensuring that our future citizens will make the difference in the health and welfare of communities large and small.